In Burbank, California, Optic Nerve Studios specializes in building creatures around people. It's run by John Bulich. In my mind, it's undoubtedly a suit. Um, uh, just it has all the earmarks of being a guy in a suit. Generally, what we would build is a two-layered suit. We would have a musculature underneath where the muscles are actually separate pieces sewn together so they can slide up against each other the way muscles would on a real person. And then on top of that, the fur suit goes on as a separate layer. So we get some kind of sliding in between the fur and the, and the muscles that does tend to look more natural. And what about the locomotion? How easy would that be for a man? To my mind, the movements uh, of this creature are, are nowhere near as dramatically different as a man playing a gorilla or a chimpanzee. You're talking about very, very different body language, very different style. And so if a human being can master that type of movement, you can certainly master this that much easier. And I think an amateur would be able to uh, achieve this kind of locomotion very easily. A lot of expertise is required to make a convincing suit. It's made from a spandex undersuit, and onto that we put a real animal hair, in this case a yak hair. What about the body shape? Uh, it's simply foam pads sewn with a spandex material to enlarge the collarbone, the biceps, the calves, and so on. Detail is the key, but for Bigfoot, eyes are less important than feet. If you wanted a, a greater impression, you'd simply put a stiffer material into the bottom. And finally, someone has to be able to work with the suit. Uh, one of the things I noticed is that as he steps down, it tends to break at the knee. And if the suit and movement can be reproduced, so can the event. Using the same distances recorded at Bluff Creek, the same camera and lens, and an amateur operator, it's possible to exactly recreate the action of 1967. Action. The most important revelation of this exact recreation is how close Roger and Bob were to the creature. They were right on top of it, which makes the behavior even less natural. It walked away, utterly unconcerned. So, did you get it? Yeah, I know did. And this is the footage. At this distance, with this lens, you're certain to get the creature in the frame, unless you artificially wobble the camera. Even so, it's conveniently difficult to see much detail in the suit. It's very neat. The whole thing was beautifully designed. Suit, location, camera work. Nowadays, a lot of commercials deliberately use confusing, shaky camera work. But they always have an image that sells the product, like frame 352. I'm Bigfoot. Buy me. And millions of people have. <laughs>